what's going on everyone i hope you all are doing absolutely fantastic this is a 30-day update of the low-tech no filter ecosystem that sits on my desk let's get into it I was happy to see that the hydrocodyl japan was doing pretty good for a while it was sort of melting back and that is because it was growing in a co2 high-tech environment at my local fish store i believe and then when i put it in here it had a little bit of transplant shock but it has since then adapted and is now just taking off and it's about to grow like out of the water so yeah pretty happy about it So I like to use my little plastic fork here, so like when I have trimmings and duckweed and such that's like stuck in the plants, I can kind of use the fork to kind of comb it out and then just more or less direct it where I want it to go and I'll just scoop it up like so. So yeah, that's what I use the fork for. You can also use a comb, that works just as well. So we have some Rotala rotundifolia on the left side here. and. Um... I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I'm not gonna remove it entirely, but I do wanna trim it down and propagate it on the right side. So let's go ahead and do that. Meep. Well, there's actually quite a bit back there. I didn't realize how much it had grown. All right, here we are on the right side. Let me know in the comments which side is better, the left side or the right side. Oh yeah, I think the same. I think this rotala is gonna look great. Like when it grows out really densely, it's gonna look awesome. Excuse me. There we go. As a wild card, I'm gonna throw in one tiny little cutting of uh, ambulia here. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Right here, we have some hydrocodyl that I accidentally scraped off when I was cleaning out the duckweed. Um, I'm actually gonna place this in the front in the foreground, and let's see if we can get like a carpet going or something.
For this time around, I decided to do a mixed bag of floating plants. Um, I decided to go with the red root floaters, some frog bit, some duckweed, and then one piece of water lettuce. I don't know, just to kind of switch it up. Overall, I'm really happy with the way this aquarium is looking and the shrimp have been happy and they have been breeding so it is only 30 days so it still is kind of too early to tell but with all that being said let me know in the comments things that you want to see me try or perhaps maybe some plants you might want to see me add. I kind of want to do more engaging community style aquascapes you know I want to try out things that I see in the comments so let me hear it. Thanks for following along everyone and I'll see you all in the next one.